Hey everybody, I'm at the corner of Bathurst and College in Toronto, Canada. I am going for a little discovery walk on college, heading towards uh, Spadina, heading west. Uh, checking things out, getting some exercise and possibly taking some photos. Although it is a cold April day and I didn't bring my gloves. So I'm going to keep my hands in a pocket unless I see something kind of classic-y old kind of cool uh, I'm looking for a I like to see old parts of town old shops independent places and just a discovery walk discovery walk a lot of places are changing I find that walking on the streets you can walk a lot longer when you are looking at at stuff Um, rather than just walking on a treadmill in the gym it's, a, it's kind of a cool doctor's office and when you walk in a gym on a treadmill or you know it's time goes really slow but when you're actually on the street and taking shots and it's much faster Time passes quickly when you're having fun and you're looking around. So you could get a lot more workout without even realizing it. You know, you could be walking two or three hours without realizing you have even done that. <laughs> Whereas on a treadmill, you know, walking 20 minutes on a treadmill seems like it's forever. Right? Just grab a street and go. And that keeps you a lot more motivated. So, and when you're taking photos, the problem with that is that you kind of have to stop a lot and look if you take too many photos then you're not working out as much because you keep stopping right so but it's always nice to have photographs I always like to walk and photograph things it's one of my passions so I combine everything together oh, this guy's gonna fix your phones I think I've been here once a long time ago talking 20 years ago when pre iPhones I think I brought a computer that feels like 20 years ago uh, time is kind of funny some things feel like a long time ago and some things feel like just happened yesterday it's a bit of a construction on that side uh, digging little, little backhoe little equipment okay We're at a church area. This is a, kind of a. I like it when there's more stores because you get to look more, and especially old independent stores, not the chain stuff. It's a lot more exciting to look at their displays and you know. Come on, center. Whew. It is a chilly one. We had a little bit of a dusting of snow here this morning. I wanted to take the bike out, but uh, it wasn't enough snow and I had to get up way too early. So I looked out of the window and I said, mm, it's not the kind of snow that would make a good film in this, in a, with a bike. It just And I uh, got lazy and I said, you know what? Forget it. Because by the time I would have got the bike and get going, whatever little snow we had would have probably melted because the temperatures are pretty warm it's been very warm the past few days and uh, when it's when the ground is that warm then you don't the snow is gonna you know melt away quickly construction going on some old houses across the street and eventually all of these are going to be changed pretty heavily it's cool so it's like a little I don't know what this guy sells I like it though it's like a little this guy is closed a quick look back look backs are cool because it's funny for your perception of one way and going the other way is completely different. This used to be, I guess, a hardware store. Now that's a pretty old store too. 
I mean, that's uh, facades from probably 70s with the metal flooring. And yeah, looking at the street one way going, you get one feeling. Going back the other, the other way, you get a completely different feeling. You see completely different things. It's amazing how much you can see on a local street going just different directions and also different times of the day on the weekend on a rainy day on a sunny day different hours it all changes it's it's incredible i photographed bloor street a few times and like they completely feel different this is like a ice cream place i guess College. I don't know why they call this dude college. College. I'm walking faster than normal today because <laughs> it's a bit chilly. I want to get there and back. And are we seeing the stores? That guy's having coffee and pizza. Pizza place. Are we approaching? Uh, it's like, I guess we are approaching the Italian section, another Italian area. And I think we're reaching this uh, cafe called Diplomato Cafe. I think that's a pretty heavy Italian serious stuff. I used to go there uh, a couple of years back for coffee pizza late night snacks and it's great fantastic what is this place oh man this is amazing oh look at that this needs a picture okay yeah i love these toys it's like an old school toy store i guess Robots. Wow. He's not kidding around. He's got tons of these things. Cool. And here's the Diplomatic Cafe, which is. Oh, they got all their uh, cakes and stuff right in the window. <laughs> Ice creams. I guess you can't go in, so. Let's check it out. So they had a big patio. Yeah, I used to come here back in the day and had great coffee great coffee they got their own little sign here too now oh the, the all the chairs have uh, outdoor chairs have a little heater electric heater wow that's really cool that's a good thinking I don't know what that is. that looks pretty good too there used to be a parking lot across there yeah it's still there we used to park our car there the trick of this place was it's very hard to get parking here and uh, we used to come at night really late trying to get in uh, after um, after shoots photo shoots and that sort of thing we used to come here and uh, sit and have a coffee and the coffee and biscotti was fantastic fantastic there was another club here too another one of these co um, coffee shops here too that's a cool bridal store across the street. Okay, jewelry store. Oh, wow. It's closed or not closed, but definitely got all these jewelry packed away. You know. Okay, it's turning around here. Oh, this place, which would be very fun during a summer day. You know, everybody having a good time. I always have to get away from people's way. In the pandemic, Welcome to Little Italy. I wonder why they call it the Little Italy. Always there's a little in front of all these little 
places. It's okay. Gray Street. We're gonna do a look back here. Exposure of the this side is a lot brighter now. I realized I should come up with a photograph for a thumbnail, that's good. I don't really pay attention to any of that, but uh, all right. with the exposure a little bit, I oh, saw so too high. We're back in the back in the zone again. That's a uh, that's a cool place across the street. The men's clothing store. <laughs> that bar over there, I went to that bar a few times with a couple of hairdressers, I remember right across the street. We sat on the balcony, it was really, had some good times up, there, up on the balcony, that was a pretty good bar. Uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, nightclubs and bars and stuff, but I like that place because you could sit outside in the summer and it was kind of cool. If you're a non-drinker, then going to you know bars and stuff, unless there's other stuff for you to do, it kind of gets boring. But I remember that place was good because um, um, you know because of the balcony outside and also there used to be a clothing store here I used to come a long time ago I have no idea it's closed now but they used to sell uh, pretty good uh, jeans and that sort of stuff pretty pretty fashionable stuff at good prices at good prices and it's gone and it's gone so we're gonna keep going a little bit further here and I'm, then I'm going to turn around on this photo and I'm going to photograph the other side of the street. College Food Market. There we go. Showing the fruits in the... <clears throat> so all of these clothes are... Interesting stuff, huh? That's and that side is pretty cool too. At the lights, I'm gonna turn around mm -hmm. and go the other way. It's a lot of wood there. Hard restore. I like this poster. Buy local or buy by local. Yeah, well, <clears throat> it is. Uh, it's hard to keep all this stuff uh, open when everybody has to shop in line. I think uh, this is a cool store. Is it? Oh, this uh, still the hardware store area. This hardware store looks like it's an old one. It's really huge and uh, stuff. And although Home Depot was closed, so you can't go inside. You have to uh, line up outside and hang out outside the store for buying stuff I think we're under a lockdown I don't really pay attention to news or anything I'm just uh, getting a workout because I think workouts are good for your immune system like a light workout not nothing crazy just a light workout should be good for immune system getting some Sun the Sun's coming out oh gorgeous oh thank you son so bright it is now. Wow. Oh, you got 
Okay, we are here. Uh, Crawford. Maybe go a little bit further. A little bit further, not that, that sunny. Uh, let me turn on the. I could turn on the film down a bit so it's. Sleep country. Okay, that area is pretty cool too. Looking back on this beautiful summer sunny day that started as a very cold and wintry with a snow and windy and it just turned suddenly the sun came out and just like oh it just warms me up the sun rays are amazing 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 okay like a lost tourist looking at everything but uh okay next uh, set of lights i i thought i get to oh you know something i said i'm gonna walk to spadina <laughs> but spadina is the other way around back where i came from so uh ooh, look how dark it got now I'm using the camera on manual settings, so I have to constantly adjust it. I prefer it that way. I don't like it when the camera automatically uh, adjusts the lights and goes up and down in lighting. I think it's very distracting. So if something is dark sometimes, well, it's dark, you know, but when the camera overly compensates for lighting, it just really bugs me. So it's all manual. So sometimes if I'm not looking at a monitor, I get a little bit of a dark happening yeah definitely a lost tourist because I thought I would reach Spadina but I'm completely going the wrong way completely going the wrong way fantastic, fantastic. let's see what street is coming up next I have no idea after Bathurst going west would be Ossington maybe I don't know this guy is doing push-ups in the middle of the road. I saw him earlier doing push-ups. I don't know how he got ahead of me so much. Oh, I think he got on the train. Yeah. He's doing push-ups right in the middle of the street. It's like a motorcycle shop. Okay, looking back, not much to look back on. Like a little variety store here. Yeah, he's been doing push ups all day. He should be extremely fit. So we are at Ossington. I was right. We are at Ossington and college. Okay, I'm gonna end the right here. Maybe walk across the street for a while. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Out.